Hello everybody, my name is Ash Machine, and this is the first video of not only my channel, but of a new Nether series, Nether Survival. And then with the 1.16 update, as many of you know, there have been quite a quite an overhaul to the uh, to the Nether. And with a data pack, which I will have down in the description, you can actually start in the Nether. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting in the Nether and trying to work our way to the Overworld and building up from there. So here we are in the New World Creation screen. I'm going to name this one Nether Survival. Very original. Alright, so it's going to be Nether Survival. So we're going to be in Survival Mode, start off on Normal Difficulty, no cheats, no cheating allowed. Uh, we're going to go into Data Packs. So now you can actually load Data Packs in at the start. So here we go, we've got it loaded in. Let me just select it. Oh, we've got that added in. So now, we'll do. We've got everything created, and create new world. So here we go. Let's see what kind of biomes we get loaded into. And all right, dropped into a pretty sizable crimson forest. At all, would you look at that? Looks like we've got a uh, ruined portal over there, maybe? Alright. Let's see if we can get down from here. We started off, we've got a respawn anchor. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on getting myself killed. Yeah, look at that. I got a ruined portal over there. Got a lava pit. I gotta say, I love all the the new sounds and textures with the, the new update. It makes things more exciting. So I'm gonna come through here, start gathering up some wood. From this crimson wood. So in this episode, we've got a few goals. Uh, the first one, obviously, is start the world. We already got that. Next, we're looking to, to get to stone tools by the end of the video. We're gonna craft our wood tools. Do a little bit of exploring, see if we can find some black stone, and see if we can get ourselves to to stone tools. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop before and craft a table before any hoglins or piglins show up, because those are gonna be trouble. I already see a couple of them wandering around, so we'll go ahead and change a couple of those over. Get ourselves a few sticks. Craft up a few tools. All right. Get this all organized here. Okay. And while I'm at it, it's mostly pointless, but I'm just so impatient. I need at least something to speed things up with this harvesting. It's a very minor boost, but I'm really, really impatient. Alright. Alright. Let's see if we can get some exploring done. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a big one. He's not happy. Not happy. He's really not happy. Please stop following me. Please stop following me. Please stop shooting me, at least. That's a pretty awesome looking waterfall. Uh, that's, that's worse. That's worse. Uh, there's another one right there. Oh, this is, this is not gonna be good. Oh, that's that's bad. That's that's a big bad. Come on, let me let me let me let me let me. Let me. Oh, no 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 no. Oh, uh, they're they're still coming. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Oh no. Oh god. Shoot! Actually, 
may try to do is see if I can slowly work my way down to get to where I can take these guys out. And get some food, because I'm gonna need something now. They, uh... Oh! They did a number on me. There we go. Now we're cooking. back up here. Grab those pork chops, they're raw, but... Alright, well, that's enough of that. I think it's time to take a break and make a little uh, temporary base so I can put down my respawn anchor. You know, just in case. We'll just make a little little base right here, temporary base. Ideally we need to find a soul sand valley as well so we can get some uh, soul sand, soul soil, and uh, make a campfire so we can cook the pork. <laughs> don't have nearly enough blocks at this point, I don't think. No. Could try to build a bridge over that way. Let's right, see what happens. See how close we get. We got plenty of time to mine some things. Uh, before I get shot off. Yeah, there's a lot of piglins over there. That may not be the best idea. This new nether update, it's uh, it's dangerous to be in the nether again. Alright, a hop off here is a little halfway point. Stop and regather, see if it's worth... Looks like you got more crimson forest over there. More crimson forest, this crimson forest is huge. Uh, yeah, so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out which way to go, and then this wonderful thing happened. Yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Alright, that, uh, that went great. They're on a hunt. I wonder if I could get over there and they drop anything. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Uh, hey guys, I'm just gonna slip in here real quick and uh, gather my stuff back up. If that's okay with you? Yeah, that's okay with you. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Pay no attention. I'm just gonna slip through here. Oh, yep. You're you're angry. I I get it. I get it. I invaded your space. But I'm gone now. See, I'm gone. And look at that. Looks like we may have a soul sand valley. See if we can try going, I think. I need to go in that direction. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. I think we're safe up here. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, nine hits to kill one. Holy cow. There we go. Alright, take these with me. How many pork chops? We got 16 pork chops. Alright, let me drop down this really quick. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's 
It's all sorted out. Alright, there we go. Before we move on, I'll need to gather a little bit more wood. And may slip back to our our old base again. Or our temporary base. And set up a little soul campfire. Cook these pork chops before we head out. Go ahead and harvest at least one of these shroom lights so we can get some lighting in our temporary base. Let's see if we can get some soul sand and make ourselves a campfire. Back to our temporary housing. Craft us up a campfire. Cook these pork chops and see if we can go find some blackstone. Those of you who don't know, blackstone is the nether's version of cobblestone. So you can make stone tools with the blackstone. Alright. Sticks. Stuff. There we go. Here we go. The first campfire. All right. Just drop these on there. Wait for those to cook up. Go ahead and craft a. I don't know where anything is at this point. My inventory so jumbled. There it is. Grabbed us up a couple of, uh, or at least one chest. That's all we need for now. Uh, make sure we keep that right there. Spend this out just a tiny bit. Give us a little breathing room in here. Drop on some more pork chops. Go. All right. I'll expand that bridge a little bit too. So I'll see you guys here in a second. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the space a little bit. Try to make it a little bit more suitable for as a temporary base and then um, come back here in a second to show you or to, to see if we can explore and find the uh, up assault delta all right so here we are back I've done a little bit of expansion to our uh, temporary base made this a little bit more uh, a little bit more livable for here for the time being um, so we've got a nice fence gate which uh, piglins Want to call them hoglins? Gotta stop and think about that. Piglins can't open fence gates, but they can't open doors. So instead of having a door, we've got a fence gate. Got a nice little view out here, looking out on this side of the, the crimson forest. And we've got a nice little balcony out here. I haven't quite finished it out yet, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. Um, so yeah, so now we're gonna go exploring and see if we can find ourselves a. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. Also. Uh, Cracked up all of our our cooked pork chops. Left half of them here in case uh, <laughs> in case I commit respawn I can, uh, along with some of the other materials, just so I don't have to keep going back and forth for it. Some extra crimson stems in case uh, in case I need to make some more weapons when I come back out. So, all right, let's go exploring. See what we can find. See if we can find ourselves a uh, salt biome. Delta, sorry, salt delta, and there are a ton of hoglins. And piglins. And I didn't quite finish this bridge because the piglins were getting a little too close. So we'll finish expanding this on the way. And we'll climb up here and see if we can see anything better from up here. Oh, here's some gold. 
go ahead and line this up so that we can craft ourselves an ingot. Try to barter with some of these guys. Also, make some armor as soon as possible so that they leave us alone. Alright, there's more gold. This would be awesome if we can get enough of this together so we can make some helmet. Helmet or some boots. Something to keep these pig ones off of us so we at least don't have to worry about one mob anymore. tunnel in here for a little bit. Starting to see some soul sand. We're still in the soul sand valley. But I can see the light of day here a little bit. Let's see, I uh, get a better idea of where we are. Gather up this gold. We have plenty of gold ingots now. Should we make several pieces of armor if we wanted to. I mean, huh. it's just more Soul Sand Valley. These biomes are huge. There's some nice uh, fossils. Let's see if I can pick out what that is over there. That's a ghast. But yeah, we're probably just gonna keep tunneling. Alright, I hear. Piglins, and it looks like we're still in the Soul Sand Valley. But that's interesting. I didn't know they spawned in the Soul Sand Valley. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. And they're, I think they spotted me. So, actually, what I want to do is now that we've got uh, quite a bit of gold, go ahead and just craft ourselves some ingots and some armor. Alright. So the helmet. Honestly, boots wouldn't hurt either. Just uh just a little bit of armor. I'm gonna equip this. I wanna try bartering with them a little bit too. Not too much. I don't wanna give away all my gold, but Let's see if we get anything good. Out there. Leave us alone. A lot of zombified piglins. Be very careful though, because Nether Rack is uh, destroyable by a ghast. This bridge is not going to be very stable. But we should. Yeah, there we are. Alright. Remember where this is at. We're gonna make it back to our temporary base. Let's get it up. What's that? That looks like something over here. So I may go back and see if I can swing around the other way. Okay. So now we've just about healed up. Put that out so I don't light myself on fire. There are just so many zombie or zombified pigmen. Ah, ah ha ha ha! Did you look at that? 
Would you look at that? Found ourselves a very small basalt belt, it looks like. Right on top of the Soul Sand Valley. Have to be careful with this one. That's a big mammoth cube. Oh no, I was wrong. Looks like a fairly large one, actually. Get over here, away from the magma cubes. Check out. Yeah, this goes on for a while. Alright, I found ourselves a good source of blackstone now. What I want to do here is start harvesting some of this. There we go, welcome to the Stone Age. Get a little closer to where I can take this guy out. Safely. Alright. So we're gonna chunk this down here at Magma Cube, but I think we're I think we're safe. We'll go ahead. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, I was worried I didn't have enough uh, enough wood to make the sticks. There we go. Craft some sticks. All right, so we're gonna make a sword. There we go, stone sword. Stone pickaxe. Stone axe. Stone shovel. And lastly, stone hoe. There we go. Got ourselves a full set of stone armor. And with that, thank you guys so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Coming up with some more of this content over the next coming weeks. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what, what you'd like to see in the next episode. Where should I build a, a base at? Should I build it over the lava ocean? Should I build it back in the crimson forest? This basalt delta? What's your favorite biome? Where should I build? Let me know. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye bye.